Thank you. 
weather day. I know we're originally outside, but here is just as beautiful as well. I just have two quick announcements before we get this wedding started. First is if you could please turn your phones on silent, uh, only because I've been to one or two weddings where a phone has gone off. Uh, the second thing is that at the request of the couple, if you could please not use your cell phones or cameras during the ceremony. Uh, Sarah is in the back taking wonderful photos of this entire, entire wedding, and it's also being live streamed as well, so we just encourage you to be in the moment and enjoy it, and then they'll be able to share with you all the photos after. Uh, outside of that, I think we're good to get started.
this man, Chris, here today? Sounds good. <laughs> you may be seated, everybody. Well, welcome everyone. My name is Christian Saka and I have the privilege of performing this marriage ceremony today. We are gathered here today in the presence of God, family and friends to witness the marriage and united lives between Jacqueline and Chris. On behalf of the couple, I want to welcome each of you and thank you for being here. They're delighted that you're here today to share in their joy during this wonderful moment in their lives. Regardless if you're here in person or joining online, thank you. They're very appreciative you're here. And by your presence, you celebrate with them the love they have discovered in each other. And you support their decision to commit themselves to one another for the rest of their lives. Because you see, today, today is about a story. And to be cliche, it is a love story. It's a time to reflect on a journey that got these two to this moment. A time to remember the highlights and the moments, good and hard, that helped shape them as a couple and the couple they are today. And then what will help their marriage grow as their lives grow together. You see, it's looking back at the first time you guys met and your first date years ago, and it's the awkwardness of any first date and wondering how bad is this going to go when the first thing your date says after hello is, I'm a hugger. <laughs> but Jacqueline still went on that first date for some reason, and that took them down to White Rock at Washington Avenue Grill. And Chris insisting on picking her up because he's old fashioned that way, even though it meant driving a little bit more. Then it's showing up at the restaurant to find a single red rose on a small vase sitting on the table. It's then that you, Jacqueline, realize that Chris drove all the way to Right Rock first, placed the rose, then picked you up, and then drove you there. And you remember thinking to yourself, now this is something I could get used to. Because you, you see, some people believe that falling in love is this grandiose moment, but that's not always the case. Sometimes falling in love is not a single moment, but rather a journey with each moment leading you along the way. Falling in love is this feeling of comfort and calmness and being known. In your situation, it was a little of both. See, you both knew that something was different about the other person after their first date. It was how surprised you were, how they went so far out of the way to make you feel special, and how you felt like you could connect instantly, and you just remember driving home, hoping that she was the one for you. Because then there are the moments between then and today. It's the countless times you've been surprised with flowers or how they're always there when you need them. That the more you talk, the more you realize how much you have in common and you have similar values, ideas, and dreams. And then you wake up and realize you can no longer see life without them. And that leads to some of those big moments. And one of those is Canada Day 2018 that Chris finally got the courage to propose. You had breakfast at Wendell's Cafe, and Jacqueline was almost expecting to come out with her omelet. But alas, nothing. And she completely convinced herself this was not happening. Today was not the day. Then they walked down to a train station, and Chris was trying to be sneaky, and got down on one knee, and just as he was about to propose with this long speech he has, a train came right on by, <laughs> ruining everything. And to this day, Jacqueline is still not 100% sure what he said, <laughs> but it worked out because it didn't change what it was about it solidified something they knew long ago is that they wanted to spend their lives together she knew a long time ago that Chris was the guy she wanted to marry we're all not sure why but she did see today is about knowing all the reasons you fell in love with the person in front of you it's how they have a heart of gold and how they put their loved ones first, no matter the day or what's going on. It's how they put themselves, they, how they always uh, put themselves before every, or put others before themselves, try and do anything to make the day just a little bit better. It's how their laugh and smile can light up the room, how they just understand you and you can feel like you can be yourself around them, or how adventurous they are and push you to try new things. And it's lastly, it's just how great of a cook they are and how they're continually helping you to learn to cook. See, today's about all the risks you two to get here, being willing to put your heart on the line time after time. And it's that, those moments that brought you here. It is that deep love that you have for each other. 
And it's that deep love that brought all of us here today. Because you see in many cultures, marriage vows are exchanged on the wedding day and some believe that when these vows are exchanged, the two people become married. And although vows do express the intent of each heart, that's not what it's all about. Because you see, a wedding has never been about a beautiful dress, a building, the weather, how many people are here. It hasn't even been about just how amazing that Chris looks today. <laughs> it is about two people who love each other and who choose the other person every single day. That is what marriage is about. It is about love. And in the Bible, we hear these words out of 1 Corinthians about what love is supposed to look like. And it says, love is patient and kind. It is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It does not demand its own way. It is not irritable. It keeps no record of being wronged. It does not rejoice about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. And this starts to give you the idea of the love you want within your marriage. Because you see, a relationship in life is not marked just by the good times, but it's tested and refined by the hard times as well. It is those times when you hit your lowest moments, when life is more than you can bear, when there's school and job changes and health and just situations that you can't handle alone. Those are the moments that have helped define your relationship and have helped it grow. The truth is, no matter how difficult things get, no matter what happens in life, there's no one you'd rather be standing beside and going through with it today. Because today is about reflecting just a is about reflecting on the journey that not just got you to this moment, but it's about what the journey looks like ahead of you. It's thinking about your future and what your life might look like. It might be a kid or two with a family dog named Pickles or Ravioli. It's traveling all the places on your bucket list, having a home to call your own, one with a backyard, of course, preferably, if allowed in Vancouver. But at the end of the day, it's still being so deeply in love playing crib on your Friday nights, and your relationship growing stronger and stronger every day. And marriage is more than what got you here, because there are different things that make up a great marriage. So part of marriage is to comfort each other and strive to be each other's best friend. Most importantly, developing the capacity to forgive and heal your differences day by day, even when the person next to you bugs you and gets on your nerves. For you, Jacqueline, this is when Chris folds his dirty socks together and then you can never tell if they're clean or dirty, or how he puts his dishes in the dishwasher way too, food, way too much food, and they never get clean. You can work on those. <laughs> For Chris, this is when Jacqueline is just too perfect and wonderful <laughs> and amazing with no flaws. But you know, she could put her plates in the, and cups in the dishwasher, leaving a trail. And if she could fix her snoring, that'd be wonderful as well. <laughs> But part of marriage is also remembering some of the basics. Remember to never go to sleep angry. That means losing a little sleep. Remember that when you fight or disagree, be quick to forgive. And Chris, just admit you were wrong and Jacqueline was right the entire time. Remember to always make time for each other, no matter how busy and hectic life gets. Another part of marriage is being flexible. So in your marriage, cultivate flexibility and patience and understanding and definitely a sense of humor when all your plans change or fall apart like when your wedding falls in the middle of a pandemic on an incredibly rainy day, you just laugh and enjoy the moment. And we hear these words in Ecclesiastes. It says, two are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help. But someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Likewise, two people lying close together can keep each other warm. But how can one be warm alone? A person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two standing back to back can conquer. Because this verse does tell you, there will be times you fall, there will be times that life is tough and it feels like it's throwing everything it has you. But that is why you have today. Today is a reminder for you that you are not alone in this, that you're standing next to your best friend who's there to support you and help you through all of life's challenges. And so keep all these things in mind, as in just a couple moments, I'm gonna ask you to take the other person to marriage. Because today is another chapter in your journey a significant moment where you get to say to the person next to you that this is the person I want to spend the rest of my life with and build a family and a future alongside. And so now if you guys would like to take each other's hands, you can hand off that bouquet. And first to you, Chris. 
Chris, do you choose Jacqueline to be your wife? Will you love and respect her? Will you be honest with her always? And will you stand by her through whatever may come? I do. Jacqueline, do you take Chris to be your husband? Will you love and respect him? Will you be honest with him always? And will you stand by him through whatever may come? I do. So Chris and Jacqueline, we now come to your vows. I may remind you that saying your vows is one thing, but there's nothing more challenging than living them out day by day. Every promise you make today must be tomorrow and every single day for the rest of your lives. And so Chris, please repeat after me. Before family and friends, I, Chris, I, Chris choose you, Jacqueline, to be my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, through joy and in sorrow, to love and to cherish, and to be faithful, to you alone. This is my solemn vow. Now, Jacqueline, please repeat after me. <laughs> Before family and friends, I, Jacqueline, choose you, Chris, choose you, Chris. My to be my husband, <laughs> to have and to hold, <laughs> from this day forward, <laughs> for better or for worse, for richer or for poor, for in sickness and in health, in joy and in sorrow, to love and to cherish, and to be faithful. To you alone. This is my solemn vow. <laughs> and now the couple today will be exchanging rings. And these rings will serve as a reminder to you of the love that you have for each other. So may we please have the rings. I give you this ring that you may wear it of the symbol of my vows we made this day. I pledge you my love and respect, my laughter and my tears with all that I am. I honor you. you may place the ring on your finger. <laughs> Jacqueline, you can take this ring. Take Chris's left hand. And please repeat after me. Chris, Chris I, gave you this ring. I give you this ring that you may wear as a symbol of the vows we made this day. I pledge you my love and respect, my laughter and my tears with all that I am. And so at this time, we are going to take a quick moment to sign the wedding license, and I'll be right back here with you for the announcement of the couple and the first kiss. So now the 
before I announce you as husband and wife, there's just one last thing I want to do. Because this year, wedding day is filled with emotion, friends, family, promises, vows, hopes, rings, love, and a dance if COVID allows. And many people remember their own wedding day and how quickly it happened. So we're going to take a moment to slow right down, pause up, and soak this moment right here, right now. You can take this moment to look into each other's eyes, hold each other's hands, and think about the happiness and calmness you're feeling. Let that feeling register with your heart and mind, because that love which is brought together will continue to grow and enrich your lives. Remember this moment so when times are tough, you remember the love that you have, and it will help you meet with courage the problems that arise to challenge you, and your relationship will always be one of joy and love and trust. So Jacqueline and Chris, we have heard your promise to share your lives in marriage. We recognize and respect the covenant of marriage you've made here this day before all of us as witnesses. Therefore, in the honesty and sincerity of what you've said and done, it is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. Chris, you may kiss your bride. And so everyone, for the second time, it is my personal privilege and great joy to introduce Chris and Jacqueline as husband and wife. Please join me in celebrating the couple.
just mention it to the coordinator. Yeah. yeah. Unless you have a question. Um, Jill will be able to help you with those answers. Okay. Um, for family. Um, yeah. It does matter. Thanks. Good to go? Hi, everyone. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in to watch with us. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We really appreciate you being here with us, although not in person, but at a distance, and it's good to know that you're here. Yeah. Thank you, guys, from the bottom of our hearts. We, we really <laughs> wanted you here, and we just really appreciate your love and support through this time. So we hope you all stay safe and healthy. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>